and go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this. Uh, this is for seventh grade Spanish students of Holy Cross, and it explains the complications that are involved on page uh, 147 and 140 in your book, which are instructional material on how to tell time. I'm going to try and give you a summary lesson that covers most of the things that are in the chapter on that because it's all slammed together in one spot and you have no idea what they want you to be able to do. So I'm going to try and tell you. And then, you know, if you don't get it, you call me up on the phone and I'll explain it again. But this should help you good day. First of all, you need to know the magic question. K hora es? And that says, what hour is it or what time is it? That means you have no idea and you need to set your clock or something like that and you ask a friend, K hora es? Oh, so las tres, es la una. Well, I'm going to cover some of those things. The first thing is es la una. Now, es la una means it's one o'clock. Es, singular verb, la, singular article, and una is one thing. Notice that una is feminine. Hours are feminine in Spanish. It's la hora. So when you tell me what time it is at one o'clock, you say es la una. Now, we need to go beyond that and do all the other numbers, 2 through 12. They're all the same. So as soon as you go to 2 o'clock, the verb has to go plural to song. The law has to go plural to las. Remember, ours are feminine. And the number has to go accordingly. So, son las dos. Son las tres. Son las cuatro. I'll skip, skip a couple. Son las ocho. And with that part of the lesson, if you think about these, I have gone over how to tell the time to the nearest hour. So that should help you for a start. All right. Now, the next thing we have to be able to do is when we have a given hour, we need to be able to add minutes to tell if it's like five after eight. Okay. All right, five after eight is done this way. Son las ocho y cinco. So the term is going to be y cinco like this with a Y and then the number cinco spelled out. So son las ocho y cinco. Now you can count up the minutes. Son las ocho y diez, if you can count by fives. Son las ocho y veinte. Son las ocho y veinticinco. So that's adding minutes on the right-hand side of the clock. That mess in the book is not going to make you figure that out, but I can help you with that. All right, now we're going to go to the next step, which we need to learn how to tell time when the big hand is on the left side of the clock. And once you get past 31 minutes past the hour, everything changes because we were doing times in relation to 8 o'clock. Now, son las ocho y cinco, yeah, but when you get past 31, you have to go to the next hour, which after ocho, what's the next number? Try nueve. All right, you have to go to nueve. Now watch what happens. 8.35 is son las ocho menos 25. 8.40 is son las ocho menos 20. Yeah, I'm skipping the quarter hour for a minute. 10 minutes, 8.50, or 10 minutes of 9, is son las nueve menos diez. 5 minutes of 9, son las nueve menos cinco. So you've covered most of those times, and you, so you have to remember this. When the big hand is on the right, you're going to say E and add minutes. And when the big hand is on the left side of the clock, you're going to say menos go to the next hour and subtract minutes, like son las ocho menos cinco. So that gives you adding and subtracting minutes and covers this part of the outline. All right, the next topic that we have to be concerned with is the quarters and halves. Now see, they don't separate any of this stuff. Now, when you count in Spanish, you go, 
uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Now, you also have, in any language, ordinal numbers. Now, in English, they would be first, second, third, and fourth. Primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto. Cuarto is a quarter of something. And when you're, well, let's take a look at telling time, like quarter past 10. Let's go to that time zone. All right, quarter past 10 is son las diez y cuarto. So you're taking 10 o'clock and adding a quarter. And so that's quarter after 10. I know you guys are all used to digital time and you don't do this anymore in English, but they still do it in Spanish, unfortunately. They're a little bit antiquated in this area. All right, we go to 1030. And that's also adding something. And it's son las diez y media. Now, media is half of something or the middle of something. So it's 10 o'clock plus a half an hour. So must the AC media. Now, the minute that big hand goes to the other side of the clock, that's when the problem starts because you have to go to the next hour and subtract. And you can even do that with quarters because 9.45 is quarter of 10. And you say, so must the AC menos Quarto. It is 10 o'clock minus a quarter. So now I've covered that. If you watch this video a couple of times through and stop it and start it, you'll be able to get the concepts if they go wham, slam, and half a page and try to teach it to you. Okay, so now what we've looked at is KRS, what time is it? Es la una, it's one o'clock. So much dos, and all the rest of the hours are all done in the plural. Adding minutes like e cinco. But when we go to the left side, when the big hand's on the left side, we go to the next hour and subtract. So you have sentences like so much dos menos cinco. Dos menos cinco would look like this. Five minutes before two. So much dos menos cinco. Okay, the uh, quarter hours do the same thing. You have a basic hour, you add e quarto, that's quarter after. You have, add e media, that's half past. And then menos quarto, the big hand is on the left, so you go to the next hour and say that hour, menos quarto. All right, that's some of the uh, problems that are covered. There are a few more that aren't separated out and isolated like I'm doing. And that's the uh, parts of the day. Now, you all are used to saying AM and PM. Now, AM stands for ante meridian. That means it's all the time in the day before noontime. PM means post meridian. That's all the time afternoon until midnight. So it's 12 hour periods, AM and PM. Well, Spanish can't be accommodating. They have to do it, they have to be different. So they, the French are even worse. Uh, anyway, uh, the Spanish, divide the day into three parts. The first one is de la mañana, the second one is de la tarde, and the third one is de la noche. Now I will explain those. I will explain those. I just needed to get a, I get, needed to get a different paper clock that's a little bit more precise. This one comes from a kindergarten class at Seneca Street School about 30 years ago. Okay, now, uh, we're start to, starting to talk about these time tellings and part of the day. So say it's um, one o'clock in the afternoon, quarter after one in the afternoon. Okay, here's the time on the clock, quarter after one in the afternoon. That's, how do you say it's one o'clock? Es la una. And then you add a quarter, y cuarto. And now you want to tell me it's one o'clock in the afternoon rather than one o'clock in the morning. Es la una de la tarde. Es la una de la tarde. And you know when you say good afternoon, what do you say in Spanish? Buenas tardes. Okay, that should line up. Now we want a clock that's a uh, time that's going to start a little more controversy. Let's go to 10. All right. Remember what you do for a plural hour? You put son and las in front of it. So son las diez. Now here you have son las diez. And it's 10 o'clock in the morning. 
Well, you don't say buenas mañanas, you say buenos dias in the morning, but here it would be son las diez de la mañana. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Son las diez de la mañana. All right. But now you want to tell me it's 10 o'clock at night. Now you're going to confuse me, right? Okay. You want to tell me it's 10 o'clock at night? It's still son las diez. But then the words for it are de la noche, of the night. It's 10 o'clock of the night. So you got a.m. and 2 p.m. basically. Midnight to noon is de la mañana. Noon to six is de la tarde. And six to midnight is de la noche. So 10 o'clock at night. Now that brings us to the next large problem. 12 o'clock. Now it is valid in Spanish that if you're just telling time to somebody, you're sitting together, you're together in the same place, and you know what time it is. Well, that, that's going to be, it's 12 o'clock. So let's go say, it's going to look like that. But say you're apart, you know, like you're talking to somebody in another part of the world, maybe it's noon where you are and midnight where they are. Well, how are you going to solve the problem if you just say it's 12 o'clock? Well, yeah, okay. Well, here's how you solve it. All right. You have uh, the three divisions, you have two divisions of the day. Now, middle of the day, maybe a dia. Es media dia means it's the middle of the day or noon. Es media noche means it's the middle of the night, midnight. I'll get to this in a minute. So, anyway, you need to know how to say it's noon and it's midnight. Es media dia, noon. Es media noche, midnight. Now these things are covered somewhere in here. I have no idea where, but anyhow, you're gonna have to answer some questions and you'll get to practice with some of those things. Uh, now the last set of words here, and punto. That means exactly on the point, on the dot. So if I'm telling you, uh, well, you have to be there at exactly three o'clock, not five after or 10 after, a la tres en punto. So las tres en punto. That means it's exactly three o'clock, no minutes, no seconds. And a punto is a period or a point. So when you say en punto, you're saying on the point, on the period, or as we say, on the dot. So that that's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna be able to do it. Now you can check yourself a little bit by doing activity A on page one forty seven at the bottom. And see if you can use the information I gave you, what's in the book, in the box, and what's on the video. And you should be able to put that together. Uh, also, there's introduction on link 40 that will tell you how to do half hours. It'll tell you how to do the on the hour and a half hour. Then 147 gives you all the details, but it doesn't break them down this way so that you can understand them. Also, on page 143, there's an exercise that goes into 24 hour time. That's a future lesson. That's not going to be in this lesson. I'll be doing 24 hour time. With you. Also, we have to tell you how to say at what time does something occur so that you can say my uh, uh, first period class starts at 8.05. And that's a la socio y cinco rather than so much. And I'm going to teach you that in a future lesson. So there's two lessons here that I have to do today. One is on telling time, which is now complete. And the second lesson is on how to do a verb that ends in ER. And I'm gonna put that together. And then I have to give you a page reference where to go find that and do it. And if I think I can find that, probably not. No, it's not, an, it's not, it's not an easy find. So I will I'll skip that for the time being because they want to teach you a star first and I don't want to do that. So I've given you the time pretty well on how to do it. So do activity A and then I'll provide some other work that will help you do some more of this. So I hope this helps you. Uh, this is all brand new to me teaching with a video. So I've made mistakes. I know I've gone fast, but you also can 
look at the video twice. The video takes about maybe uh, 17, 18 minutes at a pop. And you can, on your own equipment, you can pause it, repeat things. And, uh, you know, you have to think of all the stuff I said, because I did condense the lesson. Ordinarily, I would teach this lesson in three class days and divide it up. So this is three days in one shot. We're experimenting. You know, this is the first time we've ever had to do anything like this in school. So thank you for your kind attention. And uh, Mr. Bellasar here will sign off.